Hi, welcome. This is Patrick at RadicCars.com. We're going to be talking about day three of the 2015 National Sports Car Collectors Convention here in Chicago. Um, so, as soon as we get in, we go, well, we try to create like a strategy to uh, do the parameter of the show and then make our way around the the, uh, the aisles. Dan, what was the the, 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 the word we used to make? Serpentine. Serpentining the aisles. <laughs> and And so... Today we, we started out doing that and, and we got a ways in but we still haven't completed the whole showroom. There's a lot to, to cover and we're going to try to start um, fresh again tomorrow where we ended today. So getting straight, it was a lighter day for, for me today specifically because um, my strategy was try to capitalize on, on as, um, the bigger cards in the beginning first to get them out of the way, whatever I could find. Um, just run around looking for them, and then today was a quieter day. I spent a lot less money, which was great for me on the budget, um, and and I acquired some nice pieces. Regardless, some really prized pieces, really on a budget. I, I I just found some hodgepodge boxes of cards, cards boxes of cards that that, that dealers had just picked up. They had them there on their tables, and um, uh, I just went through them and rifled through them and found some, some found some cool stuff. So. Let's get to it here. Now, um, we're just going to start off lightly with, with, with various things here. First thing I found, the cheapest, this I think is the cheapest I've ever paid for a 90 Leaf Thomas, three bucks, off-centered. I have a lot of these, and I, I never see them for this cheap. In fact, I, don't, I, I probably never see them for less than like 10 bucks. Um, this was a pretty good deal, I thought. And then I bought this. This is cool. This is the uh, 2014 Everett at Conference Greats. So there's a silver, and then there's like a pewter version, and I want to say there's a copper, I, I don't know, but I've got this one, this is my first one. Those are cool, a little young Frank, and his, uh, his football jersey from, uh, was it Auburn, is it? Yeah, Auburn University. I got another one of these, this is the 95 Ultra Gold Medallion Power Plus, or Power Plus Gold Medallion. I've always liked that card. I remember going to a card show in 95 and having $20 and I bought the non-gold medallion version of that the, for King Griffith Jr. and coming home being really excited to have that. That was a long time ago. Um, 2008 documentary gold, actually this is a base silver one. I don't have any of these, now I do, this is my first one. These are pretty modern, it's 2008 so relatively new so to speak. Uh, this is the, I think it's 95 Collector's Choice, um, You Make the Play, Gold Signature. I get that, I get those whenever I find them for cheap, those gold cigs, I think those are cool. I got some jersey cards here, some miscellaneous stuff. I got um, Donner Studio, 2003, Leather and Lumber, number to 400. Uh, this stuff all just sort of blends together after a while. 2008, a piece of the UD, a piece of history stadium scenes. There are so many cards for Thomas from 2008, uh, UD, a piece of history, and I, I don't specifically seek them out, but when I find them looking for other things serendipitously, I acquire them. So this was one of those cards. And this jersey card, surprisingly enough, they're as cheap as $5, sometimes less, uh, depending on what you're, what you're doing. So... I get them whenever. Two, uh, this is 1994 Pacific Promo. I have this one, but I don't see them very frequently, and for the bargain price, I can pick up another copy. This is the 2002 Flare Power Tools Duel with Magli Ordonez, two bats. This is the, so I'm working on some various sets when I'm not working on Thomas stuff. And a bunch of refractor sets from the 90s, 94, 95, 96. And these are kind of fun. This was 96. This is the gold Karim Garcia. You can see they're kind of refracts. I talked down, talked the guy down from this, from the price on this. A couple bucks. I was able to get this for really cheap. Those are cool. There's another one. This is a Ruben Rivera. This is the bronze, 96. And what the 
could set that aside. Okay, we've got um, 97 score, artist proof, Brian Hunter. This is just another set that I casually, very casually pieced together. I'm probably going to be building binders for these just because I like to see them in pages, but I haven't, I haven't committed to that just yet. I just think they're really nice looking cards. What else did I get here today? I got the uh, Topps Baseball Royalties from, actually, yeah, that's right, Topps 2015. So, I didn't know this, but I was quoted by the gentleman who sold this to me that these were one per box. I didn't know that. They're, I don't know how I feel about the design. They're okay, I guess. But, um, 2015 Finest Base Card. So, this was a dollar, and I did not... I don't have this card, well I didn't have it before I bought it obviously, but I bought the other versions of the card, I got the refractor, the red refractor, and the super refractor, but the base card is, I didn't want to pay the shipping on it on, on eBay, you, know, you pay nine cents and you pay two or three bucks to ship, the card's not worth four dollars to me. It's worth a dollar to me though, I'll pay a dollar for it, so I figured I wouldn't buy base cards anymore online because of that very um, uh, specific financial limitation. So this today was the, the I was glad to have this. Uh, for for the dollar that I pay for, and then as I've I've discussed previously in other videos, is I'm working on a set of '95 select mirror gold, select certified mirror gold, rather sorry, um, and I got a bunch more of these today, and I actually don't have a checklist going on these. I need to get a checklist going because I have accumulated about 20 or 25 of these over the last couple of days, and I think the set isn't that big. Um, I can't think off a hand how many cards we're talking here, but I mean we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards here, and the highest number of cards one thirty four, so maybe one fifty. I, I don't know. I'd have to look at it again. It's been a while since I've investigated my progress. So I've got I picked up those, and then this last card here um, in this stack, or last baseball card should I say, is the this is the to me the gem of my finds today. And it's not even a Frank Thomas card. Check this out. Ready for this? This is the 1997 Collector's Choice Crash the Game Instant Winner, right? Brady Anderson. These are really killer. Super, super tough to find. This is the only one I've ever seen in hand in my life, ever. And um, I was really stoked to find this. This is an excellent piece. I'm really happy to add this to the collection. I've never seen a Thomas. I've seen a Vinny Castillo. Um, a, a friend of mine has a Vinny Castillo, I think. I don't recall seeing anybody else, though. I really don't. And, and so these these are really, really magnificent finds. And got that in just a, a mess of, of cards. And then the guy that I that uh, from which I bought that card, he threw this in because it was in my pile. Now... Um, this is a football card. This is a Burger King Gators Emmett Smith college card. Now, Dan, you had mentioned specifically that this was a high counterfeited piece. Is that correct? That is correct. So, um, Dan had mentioned that I, it would be in my best interest to have this um, submitted to PSA and authenticated. And if it comes back authentic, then the, the total value, credible value of this would be considered strong. Maybe even army strong. Right, so then I met up with uh, uh, some some friends that that I had I've known on, on online. I met them yesterday. Really great people. And uh, one of the guys is a Thomas guy. The other guy's a Bonds collector. And if you're watching this, and you know who you are. So thank you so much, guys. Um, they we we went out after the show to the Big Hurt Brew House. And as you can see uh, behind me, I have a T-shirt here from that that establishment. Now that's Frank Thomas's establishment he owns this it's all commemorative for for frank thomas it's really a fantastic place great food good company and um uh, good good scenery and it was really quite excellent and um we 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 sat and had a good time and, and came back and the gentleman who uh, is another frank thomas collector asked me if i'd be interested in taking a look at some of his cards some of his stuff he's looking to move so i did and i pulled um all kinds of, of, of excellent cards here. Now I won't go through every single one of them. Um, I'm just going to go to do a quick pass. Now these are all moments and milestones 
from 90, uh, 2007 and 2008. I made some good progress on those. Those are big sets. I think that, and I have my checklist here, uh, the um, moments and milestones for 2008, you know, we're looking at over 4,000 cards. 2007, you know, we're looking at, uh, you know, a, a high, very high number, not quite that high, but uh, I got them for very cheap individual cards. I was happy to get them, and I was thankful that he was he was a uh, had those for sale for me. And also too is is I'm very excited about this this uh, um, achieved progress in my 1998 Topps Tech run, as I picked up another I don't know 15 cards or so, maybe a little slightly more uh, of these. And so this will bring me to like missing only just a few, two or three possibly left in the run of 90 cards for um, 1998 Topps Tech. So each card comes with a different pattern. If you've been following the set, you know how much of a pain uh, it is to acquire all 90. Hopefully this year or the coming months I'll be able to find the other, the remaining two or three cards. So I did get those, and I got, what else did I get here that's notable? Ugh. Put that there. Um, let's see, so this is from 1991 Kodak White Sox. This is the team card with Thomas and a couple of the other big guys, Alex Fernandez, and I think that um, Jack McDowell and Robin Ventura are also on there as well. So those are cool. Uh, 2008 documentary. This is the gold version. My only one. I don't have very many of those. Uh, I think it's, it's like the second, my second card in the set. I have one of the base and one of the gold. I got the. This is 2003 Topps Gold. Chicago White Sox team card. Huh. It's kind of fun. A Frank Thomas Broder. That I've never seen. Another one, well actually two more, I've got Investor's Journal with like kind of strange, almost like 80s like multicolor foil happening there. Uh, Player's Choice MVP with like this teal foil around it, I haven't seen that one before. This is a UD piece of history, franchise history, yeah that's right, uh, red. Number 149. Didn't have that before. Sport Kings from 2013. I believe that's the base card. I don't know a lot about this set. I do know, however, that it's not licensed. Um, I didn't know Sport Kings was an in the game product. Ha! <laughs> it's wild. Um, so these are the. Oh man, what were these again? These are the. Play ball from 2005, I think it was. So I haven't really put any emphasis uh, on this set. The gentleman who sold this to me has, has done quite well in his progress, and um, he's got quite a few of these. Then that was my first one. I'm working on a few other things. Uh, this is 2005 Studio Portraits, another variation. They make a lot of those. Those are those are many, many strong. This one is the Dannon card from, I believe this is 96, maybe? Maybe 96? I don't remember. All I know that this, this is a, nice to have a single uh, card so I know what it looks like. I've got a sealed set. It's kind of fun. I like to do some of the sealed sets, so I was able to grab one of those singles. It's a nice two to have. This one here, 2000 Lemon Chill. Glad to have that in the collection. Uh, this one's 2003 Leaf Limited Threads, uh, number 25. I'm really picky about the game used cards because there's so many of them and I, I can go broke buying them all. So I, I just get the ones I like, whatever I can finance. Um, 2004 Donruss Elite Career Best Jersey Prime. Glad to have that in the collection. Um, it's kind of an interesting jersey card. Ha! <laughs> it's funny. 
And this one here is the uh, 2005 Leaf Cleanup Crew. Apparently there's like a die cut card that exists here as well. I got those and then there are, I needed a, uh, a replacement for this so I went ahead and grabbed that too. It's not a very rare card, I just needed a new one. The one I have is all scuffed up. Uh, and these are the uh, the prime gems of, of the, uh, the the acquisition here. Um, so we'll just start with, with, with this. We got a 98 Tech Diffractor. Love those cards. Who doesn't love those? Find me someone who doesn't love the Tech Diffractors. I bet you can't do it. Um, 1999 Tech Gold. Another pattern that I needed. Love that. And a 2000 Tech Gold pattern that I needed. It's very happy to have an opportunity to acquire these. These are, these are excellent. Thank you so much for watching. We had a great time. And it was great hanging out with, with everybody today and just um, going through cards. So thank you for watching. And until next time, enjoy collecting.